name's Mary Whiteford. I'm on the task force here in the Michigan Women's Commission. So thanks everybody for being here today. We do have a special treat. In Michigan right now, there is a movie being filmed about human trafficking. And we have the director, co-author, co-producer here. His name is Joel Paul Reisig. And then we also have the associate producer, Angela PV, And they're going to come have a quick discussion with you and show part of the movie for everybody. So this is really a big deal. So thank you for coming, guys. Hey guys, thanks for, uh, thanks for having us here and thanks for having this event. My name's Joel, this is Angela, and like you just heard, I am a uh, movie producer. I'm a Michigan movie producer. I'm actually a Hope College graduate as well. Ah, thank you. And uh, ordinarily, I do movies about G-rated family movies, kids, animals, horses, that sort of thing. So. This has been, we're in the middle of filming right now, and man, this has been tough just to research and to, and to film. Um, we've been really lucky. Some friends of mine have agreed to work on the film at a reduced rate. You'll see uh, Dean Cain on the screen in a minute. If any of you don't know him, he's in a lot of family movies, a lot of Christian movies, and he's TV's Superman. We've actually got a, uh, a movie tonight that's opening in Grand Rapids starring uh, Kevin Sorbel, the uh, star of God's Not Dead. But uh, what we want to do is just play you about a four-minute clip from the film, and then we'll talk about it for a couple of minutes. So if we could let that roll, please. Darkness can be scary, but imagine how terrifying that is for a child who's a victim of child sex trafficking. I'm Dean Kane, and I'm honored to be a part of the film A Parent's Worst Nightmare. Child sex trafficking happens right here in the United States of America, and it is a horrific crime. So I hope you will consider being a part of this movie. Thank you. Today. It was good. Hi, sweetheart. Hi. Get dinners in 10 minutes. Can you believe she's almost 16? <laughs> to me, she'll always be that six year old princess we took to Disney. Hey, Tyler. Hey, beautiful. I thought you'd never be online. I miss you. We just talked last night, silly. I want to meet you so bad. Me too. Meet me tonight. I have school tomorrow. Just for a little bit. I promise I'll be good. Get back in your cages. Please let me go. Please let me go. I own you now, and you ain't never going nowhere.
No, not again. Please, somebody help me. Bitch, ain't nobody gonna help you. Will you help me? What about me? Or me? How about me? Every year, thousands of girls in America are kidnapped and sold as sex slaves. Will you help make it stop? Will you share this video? Will you give what you can to help get this movie made? Will you help us? Please. Somebody help us. So, unlike other movies that I've done before, we are going to give 50% of the profits to this movie away to uh, charities that help combat um, child sex slavery. And we're, uh, we're looking for really anything. I don't profess to be an expert at this subject. I'm a movie producer who is frankly looking forward to going back to doing a G-rated movie about horses. And uh, anybody that's out there that can help us make it more authentic, we're open to that. Anyone that wants to volunteer on set, we're open to that. I'm not gonna push for this. We're obviously always looking for financial backers. And I'm just feeling really lucky that a friend of mine, an associate producer, happens to be an expert on the subject. And it's, it's great that I get to work with her. So this is Angela. Hi. Well, I've made TV TV produ uh, productions, documentaries, that's what I do. Um, and like Joel, I, I really don't consider myself a real expert, unfortunately. However, I do have firsthand experience with this, um, unfortunately. Um, about three years ago, my cousin was kidnapped from her place of employment. Um, you may recognize her name, Jessica Herringa. Um, one, uh, one of the many directions the police and her family believe that's happened to her is that she was sold into sex slavery um, right here in Norton Shores, Michigan. That is the true reason why I have um, decided to join this project. Um, I, like Joel, have never made a film like this. I guess my last documentary I made was about um, disability education and awareness. Um, but like Joel said, we will be donating 50% of the profits of this movie back to charities. We're going to be picking five different charities um, and we've already decided on one charity in specific. Uh, it's called Sacred Beginnings. It's located in Grand Rapids, Michigan, and they do transitional housing for women um, who are getting right off of it. So thank you for being here today, and thank you for listening to us. Yes, thank you. We'll, uh, we'll be around in the lobby afterwards if anybody wants to talk to us, but thank you for just having us here. Thank you. Thank you.